Um, what's up with the spamming? They're spamming in the group chat. Let's go see what's up. In the group chat. Yeah, totally. That was so dramatic. What's up, Beaches? What are you two babbling about? Oh, Wesley and I were playing a horror game. And I wasn't invited? You two played without me? Oh, shut up, Olive. You always seek attention. What? So what if we didn't invite you? You're always so boring anyway. I mean, this is a group chat, right? You guys just can't leave me out. Will you just shut up, Olive? Lucius, what the f ever since when are you so mean? And ever since when are you so annoying? What's going on? I have no idea, Dex. Wesley and Lucius are literally excluding me and are being mean. Cry baby. For real. Olive left the group chat. Ha! Leaving the group chat for attention. She's such a pick-me. What the hell is wrong with you both? What? Are you gonna chase after her like a good puppy? You know what? Dex left the group chat. Totally a simp lord. Ignore them. Let's play something else. Olive, are you okay? Not really, Dex. I don't feel okay at all. Lucius and I were really a good friends. We've known each other for almost five years and yet he turned his back on me. Why did suddenly become for no reason like that? One thing I can say is that he's such a jerk. And you deserved better friends, Olive. I already got you. You're literally such a good friend. Um, you know, I can be a good boyfriend too. Are you asking me out? Yeah, wanna be my girl, Olive. I've liked you for so long, but I was scared and I didn't dare to speak it out. Why? You know, you and Lucius were so close together. I thought you liked him. Well, not anymore. But yes, I'll be your girlfriend. And I've actually had a crush on you too. So it's official then? Yes. All right, babe. Anyway, I gotta go now. Bye. Bye, love. What am I gonna do now? I guess I'm gonna clean the house before mom gets home. Couple hours later. Wait. Dex is playing game? Is he back? Why didn't he text me? I'm gonna join him and ask. In the hood. Gosh, she's the dumbest person I've ever known. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who are they referring to? Me? Why is Dex talking to her? Dex, what are you doing with her? Oh shit, shoot chat. Olive, what are you doing here? What do you mean? What are you doing? I thought you said you had to go. Oh please, you're so controlling. Sorry dear, I forgot to tell you I'm back. Wesley asked me to play cause she felt upset. Oh. Seriously? Leaving again for attention? So pathetic. I'll just listen to music then. A Dex is spamming me. Olive Olive live live leave Liel. Please answer me. What? I'm sorry if I upset you. It's okay, I guess. I know you're a good guy and care about people. I'm glad that you understand me. I love you so much. Yeah, I love you too. Wanna play the hood? Sorry, I can't right now. Why? You're busy again? Wesley wants me to play MM2 with her. Okay, just go play with her then. Not even a goodbye. I'ma just play the hood. In the hood. Oh, come on. Can you give me a moment of peace? Die, you monster. Why did you shoot me as soon as I spawned? Isn't that the purpose of the game? Shooting. Ugh, what do you want? I want you. Sorry, I got a boyfriend. Ugh, can we at least be friends? Yeah, sure. After three hours. Oh my god, I finally found you, Olive. Wait, who's this? My friend? So you're telling me, this thing is your boyfriend? Shut the heck up! Pew! Wait, why are you shooting him? Why not? He's making fun of me. Okay, Harvey. Don't make fun of him, okay? Nah, he needs to be taught a lesson. <laughs> unfriend him, Liv. What? But you didn't unfriend Wesley when she made fun of me? She didn't do anything bad. You just got upset cause they didn't invite you to play with them. That got nothing to do with me. What are you talking about? She always makes fun of me, makes a fool out of me. Always gets attention and nobody even notices it. See, you're doing it again, being jealous of Wesley. I'm not. 
Hey, I'm back. I've heard everything. You okay? She's such a jerk. I'm fine. Well, if you say no, wanna play Adopt Me to get him off your head? Yes, that would be great. Cool, join me. Uddex is spamming me again. What does he want? Olive, olive, olive. What's it again? Let's play Adopt Me. Oh, I was meant to play with Harvey though. Yeah, sure. They join Adopt Me. There you are, Olive. Took me long enough to find you. I have been waiting for so long. Why didn't you at least tell me you're not gonna join me? What? What is he talking about, Olive? And didn't I tell you to unfriend him? Sorry, Harvey. I couldn't say no to Dex. He's my boyfriend. And Dex, Harvey asked me to play with him before you did. Oh, uh, alright, I see. And no, it's all good. I'ma just leave now. Unfriend him. Last warning. Unfriend Wesley and I'll do it. No, absolutely not. There goes the answer. All right, whatever. Just make sure he doesn't get in the way. I'm a go now. Wesley is texting me. Lol. He just left me like that. I'm gonna join Harvey. Harvey, can I join you? Of course, I have a group chat also. Join me. In the group chat. Who's this, Harvey? This is my new friend, Olive. Okay, hi there. I'm Tries. Hi Tries. Nice to meet you. Are you two a couple? Hell, Hell no. no. Lol. Lol. I'm lesbian. Phew. Thank God. Wait, did I just get jealous? So I'm Olive. Why did you join us? No way. I got Dex. I only knew Harvey. I thought you were playing with your boyfriend. Hello? Is she okay? Did her brain die? No idea. I'm I'm here, sorry. Um, what were you saying? I was asking why you joined me. I mean, you were just playing with your boyfriend. Oh yeah, he left me to play with Wesley. So I thought I would join you. Hell no, he shouldn't leave the pretty one alone like this. Shut up, tries. She's mine. How about you shut up? She ain't yours. She actually has a boyfriend and guess what? It isn't you, lol. Oh yeah, I forgot about that cockroach. Also, shouldn't you be more loyal? You literally have a girlfriend and you're flirting with Olive. I'm not flirting. I just complimented her, dumbass. Okay, stop fighting. Sorry, Sorry baby. princess. Huh? See, you just called her princess. And you just called her baby. Don't act so innocent now. But anyway, my girlfriend called me. I'm leaving. Bye, Bye tries. tries. So, wanna join me in the hood? Sure. In the hood? No way. I think I see my boyfriend with Wesley. Come with me. What the Quack. f***, Dex? You are already cheating on me. What the Quack. f***, Wesley? Stop acting as if he actually wanted you. That's what you deserved. I was just messing. Chill, babe. Don't babe me. We're over. Well, you're alright? Not really. I can't believe he's with her. Yeah, that totally sucks that you guys broke up. Why do you sound so sarcastic? Because I'm actually glad you guys did. Why? Um, cause he was just such a jerk. I don't care anymore. Everybody is just like that. Let's play something else. They join too. Lucius, what do you want? I wanted to say I'm sorry for being a jerk earlier. Okay, I guess. Are we still friends? Oh right. This is my new friend Harvey. Harvey, meet Lucius. So what happened between you and Wesley? Oh, I'm not friends with her anymore. She's such liar, shit talker, and a beach. Sound right to me. Olive, just listen to me. Not you again. Lucius, what are you doing here? But doesn't matter, anyway. Olive, you misunderstood. Me and Wesley are nothing. Bro, you kissed her. Can you stay out of this? It's look like a kiss, but it's nothing. Please take me back, at least be friends. I unfriended Wesley because I missed you. Alright dude, just stop. Olive, why do you even talk to him? Um, I mean, does it matter to you? Um, it matters because... Because... Dude, you're stuttering. You can't even tell the reason so back off. Olive, I like you and I don't want him to steal you from me. Wait, I have something to tell you too. I've always liked you. Will you be my girlfriend instead of them? Guys, this is... I don't know what to think. Back off, both of you. She doesn't want you. She wants me. Shut the f*** up, says the one who she broke up with. Alright, everybody chills. 
I have a brilliant idea here. So we all like Olive, huh? Let's do a bet. Whoever pulls her first gets 100,000 Robux. It's bet. too easy for me. You too, give me 33,000 Robux to me first. Duh, easy 100,000 for me. Don't be so cocky. All right, the bet starts now. Wait, but it's only 99,000 Robux. I will bonus 1,000 for whoever won, okay? Deal. What am I supposed to do? I like Harvey, but I feel like he's kinda insecure. Who's spamming me? Lucius, that's unexpected coming from you. You never spam me. But what's up? Is everything okay? Yeah, you know, just chilling checking up on my bestie. Are you okay? I'm sorry for not being a good friend. You don't have to say sorry twice. We're good now. Wait, hold on. Harvey is texting me. Yeah? What happened earlier? Why did you leave? I'm sorry. I just got a bit nervous. So what do you think? Can you answer my question? What question? Will you be my girlfriend? I need more time to think. I'm sorry. Okay, you can text me anytime when you feel the time is right. Gosh. Another message? This is just getting weird now. Hola my dear Olive. Stop calling me that. We're not together anymore. Sorry, but I got something to make it up to you. Oh, um, thank you. Open it. I'm sure you will love it. Aw, it's so adorable. You're welcome, my love. Why did you give me it, though? Well, I know you've been through a lot lately, so I decided to give something can cheer you up. Thanks. Yeah, I really want to make it up to you. Okay, I forgive you. Lovely, so if you want anything, call me. Everything was going great. I wasn't being left out. My friends were nice to me. They actually loved me after all. So it was Olive thought, but it seemed not like that. A few days later, on Olive's birthday. Happy birthday, Olive. I just sent you gift card. Thank you. I received it. You're welcome. Have an amazing birthday. Thanks. Wanna play a game after I'm done cleaning the house? Sure. I wait. So, um, can we go back? Harvey's texting me. I think I just go then. Happy birthday, Olive. Thank you, Harvey. I prepared a song for you. Really? You don't have to do it. You want to hear it so badly. I'm gonna start now. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Do you love it? I spent two days to record it. Thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm Olive. Will you be my girl? Sorry, Harvey. Someone texted me. I'll be back. Thanks for the song again. Ugh, I was so close. Happy birthday, my bestie Olive. Thanks. Wait, my mom is calling me. I'll be back. Let me see how's the boys doing. Yo, guys, how's the bet going? You don't know how close I was to make her say yes. Bro, it's all your fault, Harvey. If it hadn't been you texted her, she would have said yes. You bugging, it's never my fault. Well, Lucius, how's the bet going for you? Oh, you know, playing it slowly and safe. I know she likes me anyway. Where is she now anyway? She told me she will be back to me after she's done talking to you. I met her last. Her mom called her. I have an idea, to be fair for all of us. How about we all ask her out at the same time, then see who she picks, whoever she picks wins the bet, and get all the Robux. Hold on, I want to raise the bet. How about 200,000 Robux? Fine by me. Are you too scared to do it, Harvey? Okay, it's nothing to me. Bet. bet. Okay, let's keep continue then. Holy cow, I need to tell Olive about this. There is no way on earth they will do that to her. Did someone call me? Holy mother of Jesus, it's a big cow. And now I didn't call you. But I heard you call holy cow. No, I didn't. Get out of here. Oh, holy cow is sad. What happened to the other wing? I suppose you're so fat that the wing is broken. Ha hoo hoo, you're so evil. Okay, weird. But I need to see Olive. Olive. Tries. What are you doing here? Lucius, Dex, and Harvey, they're all fake. 
What do you mean? I don't get it. Tries explained everything to Olive. So it was all fake? The kindness? The love? I was just a bet? No, I'm not letting that happen. So what are you gonna do to them? I will go confront them. Guys, Olive is about to join. Get your lines ready. Wanna, Wanna be, be my, my girlfriend? girlfriend? Dex. Yes, I won. A cheater always stay a cheater. What? And buying me stuff won't make me love you. <laughs> Here's our chance. Maybe you should buy a new heart instead. And Lucius. Ha ha ha. I finally won. Take that, losers. Just let me finish, will you? Instead of taking things slowly, how about now you can take things faster? <laughs> But you can't anymore cuz I'm about to block you. So now you can leave faster than your dad leaving the hospital when he first saw you. Wow. So I'm the winning, right? Not so fast, Harvey. You know what? I actually had hope in you. I thought you were different. But you're just like the others. I don't know why I even liked you or even trusted you. What are you talking about? Why are you suddenly dissing everyone? Ha. Huh. You think I'm stupid? Wait. Does that mean you knew? Of course she knew everything. Because I'm the one told her everything. What? You overheard everything? Yeah, you guys talk like the whole world could hear that. Dang, I knew that we should talk in private. Olive, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean any of this. Shut up. I don't want to see your face ever again. Both of you are just low-life shitheads. Let's get out of here, Olive. She still liked me. Where is my Robux? Shut the f*** up don't you have feelings i hate everyone you still got me girl i'm still here for you thank you tries i guess you're the only friend i trusted ignore them only girls can bring happiness to each other now 200,000 robux belongs to me <laughs> the end athanasia a girl who once knew the warmth of a loving family faced a heartbreaking loss when her mother passed away from that moment, she had to live with her aunt's family, in Athanasia's room. Um, time to get up and cook for the whole family. In the kitchen. Hee <laughs> hee, this is for my birthday. Good morning, Camila aunt, Robert uncle. So sleepy. Why is there birthday cake today? Whose birthday? There is no birthday today. Not mine, not yours, and not Zane's either. No, it's my birthday. Remember, you're staying at my house, so you're just a maid. Ha ha ha, a maid that arranged a birthday party. Ha ha, how ridiculous. I wish I could get into X university soon. What else is there? Go wake up my son. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it now. Zane, are you awake yet? Come down for breakfast. Zane, if you don't answer, I'll enter your room. Hey, Zane, wake up. The food's ready. Ugh. Come on, or you'll be late for school. Can you please stop talking? You're so chatty. How does my being late for school concern you? Get up and join us for breakfast. Your parents are already downstairs. Come on, get out of my room. Okay, okay. Fifteen minutes later. I'm done eating. I have to go to school now. Wash the dishes. Don't wash after eating, but want to run away? I'm going to be late for school. I'll wash it when I get home from school. Remember to bring your part-time money back, kid. I told you I didn't have any part-time job. You lie. Take care. Don't let me find your hidden money. Until then, don't blame me for kicking you out of the house. It won't. I go to school now. In the classroom. Ha ha ha. Look at that poor girl. Surely he will love the surprise we give him. Poverty all day, pitiful. Ha ha. Ugh, what is this? Who put glue on my chair? Ha ha ha. Looks good on you. Ha ha, that's pathetic. Did you guys do this? So childish. We did it, so what? Yeah, what will you do? Beat us, you dare. Ha ha. Chi chi. So stupid. I have to change my clothes. Five minutes later. Wait, where's my bag? Where did you hide it? Ha ha ha, who knows? 
Ha ha, your bag. Find it yourself. Yeah, find it. Maybe it's in the trash can. Like you. Ha ha ha. Damn it. Give it back. Ha <laughs> ha. You'd better find it quickly. The teacher is gonna enter the class soon. Yeah, hurry up. Or you will be punished for being late for class. Ha ha ha. Hurry up. Damn. Ugh. How much longer do I have to put up with this? Oh shoot. I'm gonna be late again. Mrs. Emma is gonna keep docking my pay. Oops. Sorry I'm late again, Mrs. Emma. Athanasia, this is getting ridiculous. How many times have I told you about being on time? I'm docking your pay, and one more slip up, and you're out. I know, Mrs. Emma, and I'm really sorry. I'll make it up to you by working extra hours. Please don't fire me. I need this job. Seriously, Athanasia? I'm tired of your excuses. Can't you just be responsible for once? I'm doing you a favor by keeping you here. Hey, hey, let's all take a breather. Athanasia, go inside and start washing the dishes. We'll talk later. Thanks, Mr. Benjamin. I'll get right on it. Emma, ease up a bit. Athanasia has her own struggles, living with her mean aunt and uncle. She's working here to save up for college. Show some understanding. I don't care about her personal problems. She needs to learn to be responsible like everyone else. Look, Emma, we all have our own issues. It won't hurt to be a little empathetic. Athanasia is doing her best, and we should support her instead of constantly berating her. Fine, but she better not push it. Two hours later. The shift is over. You can go home now. But Mrs. Emma, I was already late. I promised to work overtime to make up for it. No need for that now. Just go home. I don't want people to say I'm forcing you to work extra hours. Hee <laughs> hee. She's always so kind. Even though she pretends to be tough with me. All right then. If you say so, I'll head home. Athanasia, wait a sec. Sure. Here, your wage today. Oh, that too much? Take it. You deserve it. Today is your birthday, right? Ah, you know it? Thank you. Keep it safe. Don't let your aunt and uncle take it. Sure. Here, take this with you. For me? Don't get too excited. These are leftovers from customers who complained about their orders. I thought you could have them instead of wasting them. I've eaten so much chicken here. Well... Take them home and change it up a bit. Enjoy! Hee <laughs> hee, look at her pretending to be tough while doing something so kind. Thank you very much, Mrs. Emma. Just take it and get going. Thank you. Goodbye, Mrs. Emma. Goodbye, Mr. Benjamin. Goodbye, Athanasia. Goodbye. At home. Athanasia, you've been late all day. Where's the money from your part-time job? Hand over the cash now. We know you've been working. Don't hide it from us. How did they know about my part-time job? Wait, what? I don't have a part-time job. I've been coming home late. Because I've been spending extra time at the library studying for my exams. Studying? What's the use? Girls like you don't need education. You just need to find a rich husband. Who can bring money back to us? That's your purpose. Your aunt is right. Stop wasting your time with books and focus on finding a suitable man to support our family. I won't give up on my dreams and aspirations. Education is important to me, and I believe in my own abilities. I want to create a better life for myself, not just rely on finding a rich husband. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Can you please stop arguing? Oh, I'm sorry, my dear. Athanasia, hurry up and cook us a meal. All right, I understand. I'll get started right away. Just give me a moment. But, could someone please help me with the dishes? I can't do everything on my own. Ugh, now you want help. You should have done it in the morning. No one will do it for you, lazy girl. Hurry up, I'm starving. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it right now. Just give me a moment. Two hours later. Ah, it's finally peaceful. I can relax for a bit. Wow. I've managed to save quite a bit of money. If I keep going like this, I'll be able to take care of myself when I go to college. Just a little longer, Athanasia. Endure this life a little longer. There's a brighter future waiting for me. 
Once I get into college, I'll finally be able to break free from this house. I'll create a better life for myself. Fighting, now it's time to hit the books. If I put in the effort and study diligently, I know I can secure a place in a good university. The next day. Athanasia, it's time for you to go home. Right now, but I haven't finished my shift yet. It's all right, today has been empty. So let's wrap things up early and head home. Really? Thank you so much. Here, take this and have a good meal. You look so thin. Oh, I will pay for this. No need, just take it. I don't want people saying I overwork you. And you don't even gain weight. Hee <laughs> hee, she's playing that role again. Always pretending to be tough with me. Take it and hurry back. Athanasia, just accept it. All right then. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Sir, are you all right? Can you hear me? My chest. It's a heart attack. Help. Don't worry. I'm here to help you. Let me check your bag for any medication. Thank you. It's in the front pocket. Found it. Here, take this and try to drink some water. Thank you. Just hold on. I'm going to call an ambulance for you. Athanasia dials emergency services and explains the situation. Help is on the way. Stay with him until they arrive. Of course, I won't leave his side. Um, hello? Athanasia, it's late, and you haven't come back to cook. Where are you? Aunt Camila, I am sorry. Something urgent came up. I'll explain later, but I can't come home right now. You better have a good explanation for this. You know the consequences of disobeying me. I'm just in a difficult situation right now. Please try to understand. I'm sorry, Aunt Camila. I hope you can forgive me. Right now, someone's life is more important. In the hospital. Sir, I'm so glad you're awake. How are you feeling? Thank you, young lady. I'm feeling much better now. You saved my life. I'm just glad I was there to help. Are you in any pain? Do you need anything? I'm still a bit weak, but I think I'll be alright. Thank you for calling the ambulance and taking care of me. You're welcome, sir. It was the least I could do. By the way, I'm Anathasia. Can I know your name? Is there anyone I should contact for you? Oh, I'm William. My son T lives nearby. His name is Claude. Can you please let him know what happened? Of course, I'll do that right away. Don't worry, everything will be taken care of. Oh no, I missed Aunt Camila's call. She's probably furious. It's all right, dear. You did the right thing. Family will understand. When they realize the gravity of the situation. Yeah, I hope so. I'll call your son and I'll have to go back home then. Stay strong and thank you, dear. Please, call my son, Claude. He'll be here soon. That way, you can fulfill your duty and then go home. Thank you for your words, sir. I'll make things right. Take care of yourself, and I'll contact your son. Athanasia steps out of the hospital room and makes the call to Mr. Claude, informing him about his father's condition. Mr. William, I've spoken to your son, Mr. Claude. He'll be here shortly. Sorry for not staying here to take care of you. Athanasia, you've done more than enough. Please go home and take care of yourself. Thank you for everything you've done. I'd better go now. Goodbye, Mr. William. Goodbye, little girl. In the living room. Ha, huh, where is everyone? Aunt Camila, Uncle Robert, Zane? Are they out? So why doesn't Camila keep calling me to cook at home? Well, I'd better go to my room. Oh no, my room. It's like a mess. Aunt Camila, what are you doing in my room? Why is my room in such disarray? Well, 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 if it isn't the latecomer. I was just making sure you hadn't hidden anything from us. Ah, Athanasia, finally caught you red-handed, hiding money from us, haven't you? Aunt Camila, Uncle Robert, please. That money was for my college education. I've been working so hard to save up for my future. How dare you deceive us like this? We've raised you for more than 10 years. And this is how you repay us. <laughs> Aunt Camila, Uncle Robert, please listen to me. I didn't mean to deceive you. 
I was just trying to secure a better future for myself. Please understand. Understand, Athanasia, you're just an ungrateful girl. We've taken care of you all these years. And this is how you show your gratitude. <laughs> no, Aunt Camila, it's not like that at all. I appreciate everything you've done, but I need a chance to pursue my dreams, to have an education. Dreams, you think dreams will pay the bills. We've calculated how much you owe us for raising you. And that money is your debt to repay. Please, Uncle Robert, Aunt Camila, I can't possibly afford to pay such a large amount. I beg you, have some compassion and understand my aspirations. Compassion, forget about school, Athanasia. Your place is to find a rich man and bring wealth to this family. No, Aunt Camila, please. Education is important to me. I want to build a better life for myself, not just rely on marrying someone for financial security. Don't be foolish, Athanasia. You think we care about your dreams? Your duty is to take care of this household, not waste your time with education. Love, dreams, they don't put food on the table, Athanasia. You need to learn your place and find a wealthy man to marry. That's your ticket to security. No, education is important to me. I want to have a career to create a life of my own, not depend on someone else for my happiness. Stop being so stubborn. You owe us for everything we've done for you. This is the amount you need to repay us for raising you all these years. I never asked to be a burden. I just wanted a chance to make something of myself. Please, have some compassion. Compassion won't put money in our pockets. You will work and repay us for your upbringing. Forget about education, it's a luxury you can't afford. You don't understand. Please, give back my money. No more arguments, Athanasia, you will do as we say. Focus on your duties and forget about foolish dreams. That's your reality now. Let me see who is outside. You better keep your mouth shut, Anathasia. If you dare to tell anyone about this, we'll kick you out of this house without a second thought. You'll have nowhere to go. Remember, not a word about this. Or you're out on the streets. Hello, may I help you? Excuse me, is this Miss Anathasia's house? Why would anyone come at this hour? I can't let Anathasia tell anyone. Yes, who are you? My name's Claude. I'm looking for a little girl named Anathasia. She helped my father when he had a medical emergency. I wanted to thank her and explain why she was late. Anathasia, well, she just came home. Anathasia, there's someone here to see you. Oh, Mr. Claude, you're Mr. William's son, right? I can't let them intimidate me any longer. It's time to find the courage to speak the truth. Mr. Claude, please come in. Yeah, that's right. Thank you for having me, Miss Anathasia. I wanted to express my gratitude for your kindness towards my father. It meant a lot to our family. You're welcome, Mr. Claude. I'm glad I could help. Please have a seat. Amma, can I offer you something to drink, Mr. Claude? No, thank you. I'm here to speak with Anathasia. Mr. Claude, there's something important I need to tell you. Anathasia, remember what we talked about. Be careful with your words. No, Uncle Robert. It's time to face the truth. Mr. Claude, please help me. What is it, Anathasia? You can trust me. Please, go ahead. Please help me. I've been saving money to go to college. Anathasia? But Aunt Camila and Uncle Robert took it from me. That is the money that I worked hard to save to build a better future for myself. <laughs> but they told me to forget about education and just marry a rich man. Please, Mr. Claude, help me get that money back. <laughs> Anathasia, I'm here for you. I understand the importance of education and pursuing one's dreams. No one should have the right to take away your hard-earned money or dictate your future. I will do everything I can to help you. This is none of your business, Mr. Claude. Stay out of it. Mrs. Camila, I respect your role in Anathasia's life, but it is my duty as a compassionate human being to stand up for what is right. You can't do that. She's just making things up. I understand that you may not see the gravity of your actions, but let me be clear. What you have done is a serious violation of Anathasia's rights. Taking her hard-earned money and hindering her education is a form of 
If you refuse to return the money and rectify this situation, I will not hesitate to take legal action against both of you. You can't do that. We're her guardians. As her legal guardians, it is your responsibility to support Anathasia's well-being and provide her with the necessary opportunities for growth. Taking her money and depriving her of her dreams is a clear breach of that duty. If necessary, I will involve the authorities to protect Anathasia's rights. And now, let her out. Fine, take the money. But know that we won't forget this. Anathasia deserves a chance at a bright future. And I will ensure that she gets it. This is not just about the money. It's about her well-being and her right to pursue her dreams. I expect you both to respect that and to support her aspiration from now on. Thank you, Mr. Claude. Your intervention means the world to me. I never thought someone would stand up for me like this. Anathasia, you deserve justice and the opportunity to create a better future for yourself. I will continue to support you and make sure that your rights are protected. You are not alone in this journey. Mr. Claude, I can't take it anymore. They will keep taking my savings if you're not here. Please, can you help me get out of this house? <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry, dear. I'm here to protect and support you in every way I can. I can offer you a scholarship for your education and even provide accommodation if needed. Over my dead body, she's our responsibility. Anathasia is entitled to a safe and nurturing environment that allows her to pursue her dreams. If you refuse to let her live independently, I will have no choice but to take legal action and report this as This is preposterous. She's just trying to run away from her responsibilities. I will not stand idly by while such injustice is carried out. We won't let you take her away from us. I implore you to reconsider. Allow Anathasia to live independently and pursue her dreams. It's time to prioritize her happiness and future. Ugh, fine. If it means avoiding legal trouble, she can go. But don't expect any support from us. I, I can do part-time job to earn money. I don't need your support. And you've never supported me. You've only seen me as a free maid, exploiting my labor. We've provided for you all these years. Provided for me? You mean used me for your own convenience. I've been working tirelessly to save money for my education, only to have it stolen by you. You've hindered my dreams and told me to settle for a life I don't want. You think you can find a place to live with your meager part-time pay. You should be grateful for what we've done. Grateful? I don't need your money or your empty gestures. I will find my own way and prove that I can succeed despite the obstacles you've thrown at me. No worries, Anathasia, I've got your back. I'll take care of your tuition and place to crash. Thank you, Mr. Claude. Please help me get out of this toxic house. Pack your bags and scram. And don't you dare show your face here again, begging for money. You ungrateful brat. No problem, Uncle Robert, Aunt Camilla. I'm packing up and leaving. And I won't be coming back to beg for anything. I'll pave my own way and prove I don't need you. Anathasia swiftly packs her stuff, flipping off the negativity of her old home. Anathasia, this is my house. Feel free to make yourself at home here. Whoa, this place is fancy. I feel like I'm in a luxury hotel. Ha ha, well, it's not quite that extravagant. By the way, it's too late now, so just stay here for tonight. Let the maid take your suitcase and arrange a room for you. Thank you. Seriously, I don't know where I'd be crashing tonight without your help. You're welcome, Anathasia. I couldn't just leave you stranded. You can crash here tonight, no worries. Oh, what about your dad? Who's taking care of him? I brought him back, and he's upstairs resting. You can meet him tomorrow and have a chat. He's doing all right, don't worry. That's a relief. I'll definitely come and talk to him tomorrow. But for now, I'm just so grateful for your help. Mr. Claude, thank you for speaking up for me earlier in front of my aunt and uncle. It means a lot to me to have someone on my side. Of course, Anathasia. I couldn't stand by and watch them mistreat you. Every child deserves love, support, and a chance to pursue their dreams. And you, my dear, are no exception. Now, about the accommodation and tuition fees. I understand, it's okay. I know you were just saying that to get me out of there quickly. I truly appreciate it. No, 
It's not just empty words. I genuinely want to sponsor your education and provide a place for you to stay. No, it's too much. I can't accept such a huge favor from you. But why do you want to sponsor me? Just take it, Anathasia. You absolutely deserve it. Consider it as a way for me to repay you for saving my dad's life. Oh no, I only did what anyone would do in that situation. If I hadn't been there, there would have been someone to help him. Today, if it hadn't been for your quick thinking and first aid skills, my father could have. By the way, it's too late now. You'd better go to bed. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll definitely consider it. Take your time, Anathasia. No need to rush. Remember, you're always welcome here. We're here to support you in any way we can. Now, why don't you head to your room and get settled? It's on the second floor, the second room on the left. The maid will lead you to your room. Thank you again, Mr. Claude. You're very welcome, Anathasia. We're here for you. Just focus on settling in and taking care of yourself. We'll take care of the rest. Good night. Good night. The next morning. Ho, oh, Anathasia, what are you doing? You don't have to cook. That's the maid's job. Hey, why do you let our guest cook? Oh, please don't blame the maid. I insisted on doing it myself. I want to contribute and not just mooch off your hospitality. Anathasia, you've already done so much for us. You saved my life. Now it's our turn to take care of you. Yeah, I know. I know. Plus, I'm almost done anyway. Why not give it a taste? Well, if you say so. But remember, you're our guest, not the personal chef. Hum, these pancakes are so yummy. Anathasia, you've got some serious cooking skills. I couldn't agree more. Thanks for this amazing breakfast. Anathasia, my dear, we've been thinking about your situation, and we really want to help you. We understand that you may not feel comfortable with the idea of us becoming your legal guardians. So, we thought of another way we could support you. I appreciate your concern, but I do value my independence. What's the alternative? Well, you see, Anathasia, we've seen how compassionate and caring you are, and it got us thinking. My father, Mr. William, he's getting older, and his health condition requires regular care. Unfortunately, I have a demanding job and can't always be there for him. Are you suggesting that I become Mr. Williams' caregiver? But I'm just a regular teenager with no professional experience. Anathasia, we understand your concerns. But we truly believe in your abilities. You've already shown tremendous care and dedication by helping my father in the past. And we would provide you with the necessary training and support to ensure you're well-equipped for the role. What should I do? It looks like they are trying to help me for free. But, I always want to go to college. Okay, I'll do it. But on one condition. I want to continue my education. If I'm going to take on this responsibility, I want to ensure that my dreams are not put on hold. Absolutely. We're all about supporting your dreams here. We'll provide you with a place to stay, cover your tuition fees, and even give you a salary for taking care of me. It's a win-win situation. Okay. I'm willing to give it a try. Thank you both so much. I can't express how grateful I am for your support. I'll do my best to take care of you, Mr. William, and pursue my dreams at the same time. That's the spirit, Anathasia. We're here to cheer you on and be by your side every step of the way. You're not alone anymore. Don't worry about your guardian's issue. I will take care of it. Be sure to stay here. Thank you. I'll stay here. Take care of Mr. William and focus on my studies. Your support means a lot to me. Are you willing to be a part of our family, Anathasia? Yes, I'd love to. Thank you for letting me be your family. We're here for you every step of the way. Welcome to our family. After that, Mr. Claude swiftly resolved the process of legally adopting Anathasia from her aunt and uncle. Anathasia dedicated herself to caring for Mr. William while also pursuing her dream of higher education. Finally, her hard work paid off and a bright future is waiting for her. The end.